It's a resounding no, no, no to certain recommendations of the 120th SRC report. I do not believe the Prime Minister should get an increase at this time. I do not believe the President should get an increase at this time. I do not believe that Kamala Prasad Bisesa, opposition leader, should get an increase at this time. No, no. Now is not the time when you're offering people 1% and 2% and 4%. It is obscene. It is obscene. It is disrespectful at this time. However, the opposition leader says there is one group that deserves the proposed increases. The judges should be given the increases in the SRC report. The public servants should be given the increases in the SRC report. They're hard-working people. And if this is what has been assessed. But, um, you know, I want you to remember this. Huh? There is something also obscene for politicians to have the power to decide on their own salary increases. Kamala Prasad Bissasa was at the time speaking at the UNC's town hall meeting in Barataria, where the criminal justice system was in focus. Attorney at law Jack Dev Singh notes that violent and serious crime is often committed by repeat offenders. He proposes that all offenders be outfitted with an electronic bracelet. Every time he commits a crime and he's not caught or he's released on bail, he is further emboldened to commit more crime. So the easiest and the quickest is to put an electronic bracelet on him, modify the terms of his bail, prevent him from consorting with known criminals. So when the police see 10 electronic bracelets assembled in one small room, you know what taking place there? Is a confederacy of criminals meeting to decide what they're going to do. Additionally, he says the one-third of a sentence that convicted prisoners get for good behavior should not be given unconditionally. Guess what? He is free to do whatever he wants with his one-third benefit. He has no corresponding obligation to behave himself. So you know what? Don't take away the one-third sentence. But amend the law in such a way that every prisoner released from prison has to behave himself. If he commits a crime or breaches the terms of his, of his release, you go right back to finish your one-third sentence. The opposition leader agrees that such failings are leading the country into uncharted territory. What we are seeing here is really the trajectory for Trinidad and Tobago to become the next Haiti. We are Haitianizing Trinidad and Tobago because crime, all-time high, the justice system is broken, the government has no solutions, no plans, except to blame everybody else.